Part 14. Prisms. Solids with a uniform cross section. You will find this on page 213 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. The shape stays the same when cut parallel to the base. The first, the middle and the last slice have the same area. So it's it's almost like you can imagine. You put it through a bread slice machine. Then this slice, the middle slice, as well as the last slice, will have the same area. The same here. This is a trapezium. If you put it through that bread slice machine, then this slice, the middle slice, and the last slice will have the same area. This is the same with this one. This is a cuboid. This is a triangular prism. And this is just in the shape of a U. Okay. The, sided, the, the shaded face are the bases. So this base is a square, a trapezium, a rectangle, a triangle, and this is just a combined figure. This is the solid. So if I draw it like this, this is the solid. But if I fold this open, we call it the net of the solid. So this is a three-dimensional shape, and this is a two-dimensional shape. Now, let's just go through this. This corner, it's almost like the corners. This is the vertex, where the edges meet. Okay, so this is the edge. So where two faces, this is the face, where two faces come together, where the faces meet, that lines, that's called the edge. And where this edge, this edge, and this edge that point there is called the vertex. Okay, uh, the flat surface on each side. So this is the face, this is a face, this is a face. Prisms are named according to the shape of the base. So let's just go through a few. Just move it up a little bit. So this is a cuboid because the base is a rectangle. Now, if I have to count the number of faces, so this will be one, there at the back, two, at the side, three, four, and at the top, five, and at the bottom, six. So it's having six faces. It's also very easy if it's fold open. Then it's easier to count the faces. Now, the number of vertices. Now, this is almost like the corner. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight vertices. Then the number of edges. So this is one, two, three, four, then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there's twelve edges. Okay, this is a triangular prism. Now, if I look at this, let's start again, the faces. Now, let's count. It's one on in front, one at the back, so it's two. And then three along, uh, along the sides. So it's one, two, and then the one at the bottom, three. So it's actually four, five faces. Then the number of vertices, let's just count these one. These two, three, four, five, six. And then the number of edges, it's almost like the lines. So let's start at the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine edges. And then the pentagonal prism. So this is just a combined or a pentagon. So if I look at this, let's count the faces again. In front, one, back, two, then three, four, and then five, six, seven at the side. And then the number of vertices. So if I count the number of vertices, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 10 vertices. And then um, the number of edges, so it's almost like the lines. So let's start here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Let's just go through it again. Okay, uh, I'm going to start at the bottom. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4. Then go up. 5, 6, 7, 8. And then top, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. 
So it's having 15 edges.